Hi all, Lee Veris here with Phototech Tuesday. Each week I'll be posting a new video about photography, technology, art, and everything in between. Uh, today I'm going to share my experiments with Midjourney Blends, where I take two unrelated photos and mash them together using AI. I'm going to be using the new Midjourney website, which is available to anyone who's generated at least 100 images in Midjourney. And we're going to compare how this feature works on the Discord server as well. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, so uh, here we are in the Midjourney. This is the Midjourney website. Uh, it's the alpha, fairly new. Uh, but if you've if you've uh, done at least a hundred images in Midjourney, you should have access to their new website. Uh, and um, I found that in this particular uh, activity where we blend, and I'll show you all of these images represent a blend between two images. First, I uploaded this uh, photo of my beautiful wife, Bobby Lane, also uh, a famous photographer. And um, this image, uh, an image that I shot at one of our workshops, and uh, just wanted to see what would happen, and, and it started generating stuff like this. So, um, you know, this is pretty, pretty interesting stuff here. Um, not exactly just taking and sticking the rows on top of another image, but literally taking the two images and blending them together to create something entirely different. Um, and it's, it's really fascinating what it does. These are all blends of these two. Yeah, even this one, I noticed how they gave the kind of curly hair to the to the deer. I don't know where it got the deer, but uh, you know, one of the things about these AIs is when they hallucinate like this and they create these really interesting images. Um, and this is seems to be just a way to get it to kind of hallucinate these two images together. So uh, pretty fascinating stuff. Now, um, as you can see, it just I just kept re-rolling it, and I get different examples every time. Um, so let's let's actually I'll show you how this is done. Um, well, let's bail out of this. I, I've done a lot of blends here. These are all different blends between two different images. Here's one that that I'm particularly happy. This this one uh, is a blend of this image, which is one of my in-camera multiple exposures and an image, an infrared capture from uh, Venice Carnival. So these are photographs generated in camera. They have nothing to do with AI, but I'm presenting them both here to Midjourney and saying, blend these two images and getting these really fascinating results where it just comes up with these amazing things that picked up on the feathers but it turned the carnival costumer into a portrait, a face. That's kind of a wild one. <laughs> um, and this extremely abstract one. So let's, let's just, uh, done quite a few experiments with this. Let's try uh, an entirely new one. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a new uh, picture. And, th and the way this works, um, you're going to hit this little plus. So you hit the plus, and that indicates to Midjourney that you want to use an image as a, either a reference, or in my case, I'm going to blend them. So I'm going to I'm going to take this this woman, and I'm going to blend with an, a, a Midjourney generated image here, something entirely different, and let's see what happens. Now, the way this works. Um, we have these little settings over here. Uh, if I click on that, I get to choose, you know, the aspect ratio for the image. Um, this stylization here is uh, uh, a, a kind of default setting for how much the mid-journey style is applied. So the default is 100. Let's, let's try cranking it up so it's going to get even more... Um, have more of that dramatic mid-journey style. Uh, we can add weirdness to it. 
so it, it's going to get really bizarre. Let's let's just instead, we'll just set everything zero except stylization will give it uh, 300 um, standard model version six. That's the latest one. And then what we have to do is put the blend command in there. So forward slash blend and hit enter. And now we're going to have four more examples of these two images blended together. And we'll give that, I'll speed this up. So really here now, just less than a minute, it's starting to uh, fill in. And uh, <laughs> interesting, it's, it's interesting what it decides to blend. Um, so here we have the blend with the trees added to the face. I really I quite like that. It's really kind of interesting. Um, here it's trying to put that the symmetry of the tree and work it into the portrait. Um, here, kind of an oddball one. Really fascinating that it does these things. And this is, you know, somehow underwater with all these. <laughs> it, it, it's totally bizarre. So one of the differences when you're not, when you haven't done 100 images in Midjourney, you're stuck uh, at, with a Discord server. So the Discord server, uh, everything is handled via text. So if I want to blend two images, I have to actually, instead of hitting the plus, I'll, I'll do forward slash blend. And then when I hit return, that's when I get the uh, place for the images to drop in. So um, if we, let's go back to my, my first one. I'm gonna add uh, this picture of Bobby here, if I can get that to work. Let's click to upload this file and uh, 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 uh. Let's upload Bobby and I will upload uh, that rose again. And now we can we can add, let's see. Blend image, da, da, da. and I, I need to add um, aspect ratio. So AR, and we'll do uh, we'll do four by five. And um, let's add a a style of um, we'll try five hundred. Let's see what happens now. Uh, it's mid journey's getting started here, and uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll speed this up so we don't have to wait so long. Okay, so um, I found actually that for some reason on the Discord server, this blend command is not working quite the same way, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I mean, these are <laughs> they're kind of interesting, but I would I was hoping for more blending and less literal pasting, cutting and pasting. So it's kind of interesting. These are similar. Um, we had uh, this image and blended with uh, this image. And again, we got some fairly simple cut and paste kind of stuff. So it's really kind of interesting that the website is doing this more creative thing, uh, blending images together. So it's, it's, uh, it's fun to look at all the different variation. So so here's one where I I took Bobby again and blended her this time with this uh, in-camera multiple exposure. And um, I only had a stylization of 200. The default, as I said, is 100. So we 
just amped it up a little bit and we got some really fascinating results. Now this is completely different than the way it, it somehow works on the Discord server. Although the Discord server is supposed to be giving me access to the same engine, the same mid-journey um, AI, but it's somehow it's not processing the instructions quite the same way. And this is really fascinating. So uh, I encourage you to experiment uh, in mid-journey with these blends, you know, find two unrelated images uh, and you'll come up with some really fascinating stuff. Let's look at uh, another blend that was kind of unexpected. Um, get back down here to this series. So here, <laughs> here I was blending between uh, Let's do this one. This one I'm blending between two faces. So there's this one and this one. So we get really kind of unusual, um, kind of blending the male and female together, trying to, trying to take elements of both. We've got kind of this weird little beard on her, which is kind of odd, right? This one, it's really morphing the face is, is somehow feminine and masculine. We got that kind of weird beard and the scraggly hair thing going on here. This is a really bizarre image. Again, trying to figure out the scraggly hair thing with this guy and the girl. Really fascinating what it comes up with. Here's another one that's kind of androgynous is sort of blending the male and female together and I don't know where it got the plants but it's kind of interesting looks like an album cover kind of another kind of cool image so so yeah take take two images any two images and and, and see what happens when you blend them together and uh, also I need to mention that you can blend uh, more than two so I've got these blends here that are uh, four. You can do up to six, apparently. So uh, I've got a blend of this one, this one, this one, and the feathers. And this stuff is really very interesting. Um, you can see these are really crazy. It's really hard to figure out how it's going about blending this stuff. And this, this stuff I find really fascinating, this kind of uh, like water splash um, abstract. Really, really fascinating stuff. So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, Midjourney's blend command is a feature that allows users to combine multiple images into a single unique creation. By selecting and uploading different images, the blend command merges their elements, styles, and features to generate an entirely new, unexpected mashup. This command leverages advanced algorithms to seamlessly integrate diverse visual components, resulting in innovative and often surprising artistic outcomes. Users can explore creative possibilities and discover novel compositions, making the blend command a powerful tool for artistic experimentation and inspiration. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully this has provided some inspiration for your own creative exploration and maybe some motivation to try out mid-journey for yourself. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss another Phototech Tuesday. Um, before I go, if you'd like some help getting started with AI image rendering, and you're in the Boston South Shore area, um, I'm running an intensive in-person workshop in AI image rendering. We'll focus on the development and implementation of high-resolution workflows. Participants will learn how to effectively utilize text-to-image prompting to generate high-quality detailed images from textual descriptions. This process is crucial in various fields, including digital art, graphic design, and artificial intelligence. I will guide you through the process of setting up and using multiple platforms for text-to-image prompting. These platforms include, but are not limited to, OpenAI's DALI, 
Adobe's Firefly, Leonardo.ai, and uh, Midjourney. By the end of the workshop, you'll be able to choose the most suitable platform for your specific needs and apply the learned techniques effectively.